everybody, it's Ray over at Sahara Coins here in Las Vegas. Uh, I wanted to talk about a coin that I really enjoy that we have here in the store. Uh, obviously, Morgan dollars, everybody loves them. Uh, it's kind of one of the most collected uh, type of coins in the US that we have. Uh, you know, you usually get started collecting, most people start with a cent or a Morgan dollar. Now, Morgan dollars are easily available. You can get them pretty much anywhere that sells coins. Uh, you can get them online, uh, you can get them lots of places, but you can't always get really nice, high grade, toned Morgan dollars, which those are what I like the most. If you've watched our videos, you've heard me talk about toned Morgan dollars before. I probably drooled a little bit when I did it because I love these things. Uh, this one that I want to talk to you guys about, it's an 1896 Mint State 67 uh, CAC. Let me emphasize that because I tend to do that when I do these videos. Uh, it is a CAC coin, um, meaning it's in the top 10 percentile of this grade in this coin. Um, but with that toning, this coin's amazing. Uh, toned coins usually sell for at least a 10% premium, uh, if not higher at auction, but we don't necessarily charge you that premium when we sell them. Uh, this one, you're looking at about $5,200 now. Sounds like a lot of money, but when you look up the history on this coin and you look up what the actual living mintage of this coin is right now, it's pretty low. So uh, I love the Morgan dollars because you can get dollars from $15 up to $115,000. So uh, I really like the fact that you can get it in any price point. You can go for all white Morgans or you can go for toned ones like this beauty here that we have. And uh, right now, I will have to say this is the favorite coin of mine in the store right now. So um, I'd like you to come down and take a look at it get it in your hand, uh, come down here anytime. Adrian over here at Sahara Coins in Las Vegas, talking today a little bit about one of my favorite coins in particular. It's a San Francisco Mint 1884 Morgan Silver Dollar. The cool thing about this coin is it's very, very choice, um, rare in a, in a high grade. So you're looking at a coin that you would commonly find, you know, dozens of them, you know, at a, at a particular coin shop like ours in low grade. But once you start getting up into the high grades, even in AU, like one of the coins we have here in the store is the AU58 1884S Morgan Silver Dollar. And that particular coin, you know, ranges from, you know, a very low grade, you're looking at about the worth of silver, $14, all the way up into the couple of thousands. But when this coin hits MS60, you're looking at a coin that sold last year for almost nearly $10,000. So this is one of those coins that's very, very rare in high grade. One of the coins we have in particular this AU58 coin is any slight, you know, rub on the high points or any rub, um, you know, anywhere on the coin does take away from the min, from it being min state. So in a about circulated coin, um, you'd be looking at about two thousand dollars. So this is the reason why I like the 1884S Morgan Silver Dollar. All right, how you doing? My name is Andrew. I'm here with Sahara Coins and Precious Metals. I'm here to talk to you today about one of my personal favorite coins uh, we have in the store at the moment. It, this here is a 1876. 20 cent piece. Uh, a little bit about the 20 cent piece. Well, this particular one is a Proof 63 Cameo. Um, in 1876 and 77, they only made these in proofs. Um, previously, is a short lived um, coin for the United States. It only ran for about four years. Um, one of the core things about it, I guess, is you know, the, the need for this particular coin was around for 100 years before they actually had readily available silver to make them. Um, Thomas Jefferson actually proposed the idea for this to come out 100 years before it actually did. Um, it was very short-lived, like I said. Um, it's pretty neat, but the, the reason it kind of fell out was uh, it uh, was confused with the size of the quarter, which also had the same you know, markings on it and stuff. So it was kind of the same uh, thing as a Susan B. Anthony dollar nowadays. So. Uh, that's really all there is to talk about it. Um, it's pretty neat. It's one of the more odd coins there is. It's been said that it's a type collector's nightmare. So uh, they're hard to come by. So this is a 20 cent piece. Pretty cool. Hi, my name's Jason. I work at Sahara Coins here in Las Vegas. I'm here to talk to you about this coin here. It's an 1879 MS65 Morgan Silver Dollar. Something special about this coin is that, you know, it's a common date. You know, there's a lot of them made, about 14.8 million of them. It was the second year that they made these Morgan Silver Dollars. But this one, I think it was at the top of a roll. And uh, when coins are exposed that have, coins that are silver that are, um, are exposed um, to elements like moisture, heat, anything like that, they tend to turn colors. This one's called a tone coin. And if you look at it, it's, it's multicolored. There's some orange, some green, some blue, some purple. 
This coin has a lot of character to it and it can't be duplicated because it's a natural process. Um, this coin right here, the reason why I like it, even though it's common, it's not a rare one, is that it's unique. Um, it's like a piece of art. How many times you go to an art gallery, see a really nice, cool painting, and then you look at the price tag, and you're like, oh, I'll never get that. Well, this one, actually, you could get it. It's, a, it's fairly reasonable in price. It's $810. Um, MS65, that's when these coins from, come from being common to being a little bit more rare. Hi, I'm Andy from Sahara Coins, and today I'm going to talk about the 8 Real. Uh, the 8 Real, the uh, Spanish 8 Real, is a coin that was used extensively in the uh, 17th and 18th centuries and beyond, actually. Um, it was one of the, f the reason I like it, it's one of the first dollars heavily traded in the colonies and uh, in the United States after we became a country before we started minting our own currency. And in fact, there's a few facts about it, it's kind of cool, that uh, our dollar is based off the 8 real. Um, that's where we get a quarter, or two bits, four bits, eight bits is a dollar. And um, there's a, the symbol. One of the theories is that the symbol for our dollar sign came off the back of the 8 real. So, there's a lot of things about it that I like. Uh, history is one of my biggest things that I like the most, and uh, just the history of the coins is why I enjoy the most. How are you guys doing? This is Alex Mavros over at Sahara Coins and Precious Metals, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite coins. So, obviously we have a whole store full of coins, every one of them unique and extraordinary, but this one that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite. This is actually the 1937D three-legged buffalo. So from 1913 to 1938, they actually had the buffalo nickel, which is a copper nickel. So there's no silver in that one, unlike a lot of the coins that are from that time frame. But this one is a really awesome coin. If you look on the buffalo nickels, they're gonna have the Indian on the front side and the buffalo on the back. And this dive variety, uh, which is actually an error, actually is a three-legged buffalo. So one of the really cool coins that we have here at the store, and uh, it's not too, uh, not too cheap either. If you find one of these air coins, this one that we have in the grade is around $2,700. So if you happen to find one of those three-legged buffaloes, you're in for a nice treat. So uh, come down to the store, see some of the other coins that we have. Like I said, this uh, buffalo and Indian that we have here at the store is my favorite, but we have all different types of coins here as well. And we'd love to see you here at the store.